Action and Reaction, Part 1. Newton established uh, three basic laws that uh, explain how forces are connected to the motion of objects. And in some of the other tutorials, uh, the first two laws are discussed, the law of inertia and the law of acceleration. And in uh, these, this tutorial and some of the uh, following ones, we'll look at the uh, third law, Newton's third law, which is the action-reaction principle. Now, the re action-reaction principle, uh, one way to state it is that for every action force, there is an equal reaction force in the opposite direction. So uh, here, guy pushing on the rock might be the action, and then there's a reaction force uh, back on his hands. Uh, now, the, there's some common uh, simplified ways of expressing this. One that you might have heard is, to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, now, in this case, what is meant by an action is not any general uh, thing. An action is specifically a force, and it's a force that's exerted by one object on a second object. And similarly, uh, what is a reaction is um, not a general concept, but specifically what's meant by a reaction is another force that's exerted by the second object back on the first object. And finally, uh, what is meant by equal and opposite? Uh, this uh, seems contradictory. How can something be equal and yet be opposite? Uh, specifically, what's meant is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. So if the action force is uh, two pounds uh, pushing to the right, then the reaction is uh, the uh, same number of pounds uh, pushing to the left. Now, action-reaction always occurs in pairs, so uh, whenever we uh, talk about some force being exerted by one object on another, uh, call it thing A exerts a force on thing B, we always have uh, a reaction which is thing B exerts a force on thing A. So um, in this example, if we think of the fist uh, of the boxer exerting a force on the jaw, if that's the action, then uh, there is a reaction which is a force exerted by the jaw on the fist. So we always have this um, uh, type of pairing of action and reaction uh, forces. Now, it's important to understand that the action force and the reaction force occur simultaneously. Um, in this sense, the, the terminology is perhaps a bit misleading because you might think that the action occurs and then perhaps moments later the reaction occurs, but that's not how uh, things work in the universe. The action force and the reaction force always occur uh, exactly simultaneously. So uh, the moment that the uh, fist is starts exerting force on the jaw, the jaw is exerting a uh, force on the fist. Uh, so in this uh, little cartoon, uh, these two slaps are not an action-reaction pair uh, because they don't occur simultaneously. The, these are actually uh, two separate actions. Now, let's look at a little more detail of how action-reaction applies to, uh, say, characters interacting by uh, pushing uh, on each other. So let's say that we have uh, Mr. A, and he is going to push Mr. B. So uh, that will be the action. So that action force uh, exerted by Mr. A on Mr. B will um, move Mr. B towards screen right. But there's also a reaction force that results, and uh, that reaction force will 
move uh, Mr. A towards uh, screen left. Uh, we, they happen to put them on skateboards here so that uh, we isolate and are just talking about that force and no uh, minimize the force exerted by the by the ground. Uh, here's a little video uh, similar to this. So um, I'm on the left and Professor Cress is on the right. Uh, she's holding her arm straight and I just push and you see that Two, we, one, third one. we uh, both move apart. So even though um, she is just holding her arm steady, uh, I move back uh, roughly the same distance as uh, she is uh, moving uh, forward to the right. Uh, here's a kind of a similar example with a pair of carts. Uh, between the carts there's a, a spring that I'm going to activate when I uh, hit the top of this centerpiece, as you'll see. So uh, the, the two carts are similar, and so when I uh, hit that they, uh, they move apart. Uh, so this one, uh, which has the spring, exerts an action pushing uh, the cart on the left, uh, towards the left, uh, and then there's a resulting reaction that pushes the cart on the right towards the right. Uh, let's uh, look at this again in the case where uh, instead of just uh, holding her arm straight, Professor Cress is going to push on me at the same time that I'm pushing on her. Uh, now we're both going to push, okay? All right. Still, still rolling. rolling. Now you notice that uh, just one we, more time. we move much farther, we uh, move much faster, in fact, and the reason now is that mm -hmm. instead of just having one action and one reaction, there's uh, two actions. Uh, I'm pushing on her, she's pushing on me, and then uh, each of those actions has a reaction, so we have twice the forces, twice the acceleration. Uh, now, let's look at another case. The cases so far, uh, the two um, characters or the two things were roughly the same uh, weight, but now I'm going to have this cart again, but I put a heavy brick on the cart on the left, so um, now see that the cart on the left did not accelerate as much as the cart on the right. So uh, action-reaction principle says that the forces are equal, but equal forces uh, doesn't mean equal accelerations. Uh, let's uh, just briefly review the law of acceleration. So uh, if we have uh, an object and we exert a force on it, the law of acceleration says that um, the object will accelerate. If we have a second object uh, that weighs more, or specifically is more massive, the second object, if we exert the same magnitude of force on this second object that weighs more, uh, it's going to have less acceleration. So that's what we were seeing with the carts. The action reaction forces have the same magnitude but the cart that uh, weighs more has less acceleration. Uh, for the same um, amount of force, the cart that weighs less has more acceleration. Now, uh, law of action-reaction is, uh, or principle of action-reaction is often uh, violated for comic effect. Here's some two excellent examples from uh, uh, Beep Beep. So, uh, we see another scheme by Wiley Coyote, and um, when that similar to the carts, except now instead of the, uh, the light one being shot forward, it was the, the heavy one. Uh, here's uh, kind of a similar example. So um, here the stick of dynamite's being pushed away. Uh, of course, the stick of dynamite is light, Wiley is heavy, and yet, um, well, you know how that always ends. So. 
So in, uh, in summary, uh, for every action force, there's an equal reaction force in the opposite direction, equal in the sense of magnitude. Uh, re action reaction forces always occur in pairs, so it's always thing A exerts a force on thing B, then there's a corresponding reaction, thing B exerts a force on thing A. Uh, action reaction forces are simultaneous, uh, so they don't occur, occur sequentially, they um, occur simultaneously. The magnitude of uh, action reaction forces are equal, but the resulting accelerations are usually not equal because the uh, thing A and thing B are usually uh, different uh, mass or different weight. And by the law of acceleration, when objects or characters push apart, the heavier one will accelerate less than the lighter one. So, Anyway, that's the um, first part of the principle of action-reaction. We'll have uh, more on that in the next tutorial, so see you then.